Hi, we are here with the co-founder and CEO of Atlas Wearables. Um, first of all, thank you for joining us. You were part of the inaugural Hardware Battlefield two years ago for um, TechCrunch at CES. Uh, so I think you know probably a lot of people aren't you know familiar with Atlas Wearables yet. We're going to change that. Um, you're, you guys have a fitness tracker. Tell us how it's different from every other fitness tracker out there. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, this Atlas wristband is the world's first super tracker and it's preloaded with 60 different activities. An Atlas wristband is really the only wearable device that actually understands your 3D motion. So you don't have to tell Atlas what you're doing. You don't have to follow a particular set of instructions. Atlas can essentially decipher how your body moves in 3D. Because I think if anyone, a lot of people have used you know, a lot of these fitness trackers. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's usually they can track you know, steps, essentially. That's exactly. what they do. But if you're like lifting weights or, or anything like that, clearly anyone looking at us can tell that we're both big weightlifters. <laughs> But you know, it, it just it, it has no idea what you're doing, or it's sort of guessing, but it, it's not doesn't really have that sophistication that you guys do. Exactly, everything else that's out there really looks at the sort of the periodicity of your motion, right? Like so, if if, if you could you could be running, walking, jogging, but really all that they really analyze is the tempo of your motion. So the type of machine learning we have enables you to really begin to focus on your form more than uh, what particular types of motion, whether or not you're getting points for it or not, uh, where the device itself. Uh, analyzes your form score, gives you active time, rest time, caloric burn. Uh, we are also partnered with uh, Valence Cell for some of the most accurate optical heart rate on the wrist. So we've done tests for while exercising uh, and while running, walking, jogging, benchmarked against the chest strap, uh, and we have a comparable accuracy to chest strap. And so you said that it, there's a lot of different activities programmed into the device, but it, again, it's the user doesn't have to like choose it. It's just that that's Basically, what you program so it can recognize those activities and knows how to measure them. Exactly. Yeah. So there were a couple different modes. Freestyle mode is really the most beautiful, where you really just slap Atlas on and you go to the gym and really do uh, whatever activity you're most, uh, whatever exercises you're most excited about. Uh, right now, we're at about 60 different activities. At the end of this year, 2016, we'll have about over 200 uh, automatically recognized, classified activities in the database. So. Yeah, like I said, you were, you've been at CS for a couple of years now, but 2015 was the year you first started actually shipping product, right? Yep, yeah, that's correct. Uh, how's that going? Uh, it's going very well. Uh, we've been very, we did an Indiegogo campaign as well, so a lot of help from Slava and his team as well. Uh, but everything's moving along now, and we just uh, announced a partnership with Coin and MasterCard as well uh, to help bring payment of things really to the gym and the health club space. Uh, and many things, there are many things we can do where you can't really cheat this technology. You can't put an atlas on your dog and expect to get push-up points, right? Uh, so there's a level of accountability or compliance built into our technology to actually reward you for real physical exertions that you do. Let's talk a little bit more about that. So, so Master, this MasterCard and Coin partnership, how, how, is, how are people actually going to use it? Mm -hmm. uh, so one of the big trends that's been growing within the health club space is really uh, the idea of sort of really a cohesive ecosystem where uh, the types of physical activity that you do, the, the classes that you join and take uh, are linked to different types of rewards you can get outside, be it uh, credits or, or extra bucks for a smoothie at the, the fruit bar, for example, or, or if you consider a lot of the boot camps that have been growing uh, as well. Being able to reward and track really your individual progress over time uh, but not from like a tedious journal perspective, but from a fully automated, you just do your thing, focus on sweating, and Atlas will take care of the rest. So in order for this to work, um, so I mean MasterCard and Coin essentially, they're putting the technology in place, but then to actually be able to you know, pay for stuff or redeem points, you also have to bring the gyms and other store um, you know, partners on board as well, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, this is a, it's a very big ecosystem play um, where... We believe like the the future of of payments and paying for things should be very seamless and easy, uh, and not only that, but also giving you the ability to reward individuals for uh, specific types of experiences. So, I mean, maybe not nece necessarily with this initial partnership, but do you think eventually, part of the idea should be that you know I, I think you know I'm somebody who like runs a, a decent amount and and one of the you know the annoying thing is when you have to just, like bring money and things with you because you oh I want to like pick pick up a snack on the way or whatever. Do you think hopefully that eventually you just bring your you bring your fitness tracker because you're going to do it anyway and that's also a way that if you just need to pay for stuff when you're out and you just don't have to worry about cash. Yeah, exactly. So one of the cool things about our technology as well is that it's a a fully untethered experience. So you don't need to have your phone next to you for this 
advanced type of machine learning to work, where, where you see like Siri and a lot of video facial recognition still requires uh, the computations to be outsourced to a server, right? So that kills your Bluetooth low energy, kills your uh, battery life from a cellular perspective. But uh, our, our Atlas wristband is done fully embedded. So the payments, the activity tracking, all of it, exactly as you said. You can go on a run, do burpees at the, at the, at the crosswalk, and then go buy something at the, at the store nearby. Um, so I guess one other, I wanted to go back a little bit to just you know the, the sort of general usage of the product. I mean, are you seeing that the people who supported you on Indiegogo or these initial you know, people making their purchases, um, are they tend to be sort of fitness you know, buffs, or are there people who are, do you think this is something that you know, regular people would want to use? Uh, it's, I think it's a, it's a mixed bag. We get a lot of uh, gym rats and gym mice as well. Okay. Uh, so if you work out like once a week or more or three times a week or more. Uh, but really, we're, we're not in the business of helping people get off the couch. I think there are a lot of great and fantastic products to, to help motivate you to move a little bit more. Uh, but this is really much more designed for people who uh, want to take a much more serious outlook on their health and fitness to be able to uh, understand what good form is and what bad form is, how the s velocity of their contraction affects muscle burn or, or bulking or toning. So to dig into that a little bit more, so it's not just tracking reps. It's, oh, okay, actually you're doing this wrong. Maybe you should emphasize this, this over this and things like that. Exactly. So one, one of the cool things is in the app, not only when you're done, we give you a form score on the wristband where we compare... Uh, your form, your 3D motion, to a personal trainer who has a similar body type as you. Uh, and that's a, a huge part of how we've created our, our gold standard of data. Outside of that, when you're done, we also give you a heat map of what muscle groups you activate, uh, the average velocity that you, uh, of the bar, for example, uh, which reflects the type of muscle fibers that you're targeting. So you're really able to optimize your workouts uh, in sort of a, an automated fashion. Like sort of what GPS navigation did to sort of getting home, where you type in your address and you can zone out. And it doesn't matter if you've been there before or not, you just right. left turn, right turn, you're there. Atlas creates that similar type of experience. Well, well, zoning out in the sense of just focusing on the exercise itself versus what's the thing that's tracking it or... Exactly. You don't really have to think about how to reach your goals anymore. Atlas will help guide you through that and provide you the feedback necessary to get you there fast. Right. And to do that, so it's actually tracking your whole body motion, not just the arm that it's attached to. Exactly. So the technology is really quite incredible. So we can tell the difference between push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, squats, lunges, crunches versus sit-ups, all to 50, 60 different types of activities now. So, you know, it's also an interesting time in the wearables market, you know, where you've got a group of fitness trackers and then, you know, a group of more kind of general purpose devices, smart watches that have fitness tracking sort of as a component of it. Um, you see Fitbit trying to move into that space. Uh, do you, how do you see that playing out? I mean, do you think that there's, people are still going to have, in five years, people are going to have specific fitness trackers, or are they going to have a device that does everything, including fitness tracking? Uh, did you say in five years? Let's say five. I mean, five, you, yeah. yeah. In, in a couple of years. I mean, I think it's very much uh, hard. It's, it's dependent on the hardware. So, for example, we're one of the of few products that are wrist-worn that not only have a widescreen display, uh, but that's also touchscreen but is also 30 meters waterproof and has a micro USB to charge. So some of the top reasons on why people discontinue use for other wearable devices, like they shower with it, it breaks. They lose the proprietary charger, they don't go buy another one. We solve most of those issues within our solution. And one of the big ones within fitness as well as accurate heart rate reporting. I mean, I certainly believe this type of technology will begin to expand as we move forward, but there's certainly a, at least a, a couple to five years at least in terms of the uh, technology advantage that we have to take, take, uh, take advantage of. So right now, do you have like one model of the Atlas or there are multiple models? Uh, so this is the, the launch model at Atlas wristband. It comes in two colors, uh, yellow and TechCrunch green. Okay. Uh, Excellent. And, uh, we also have an Atlas. Wait, so we're getting a cut then, right? <laughs> uh, it's a nice neon green, right? <laughs> That's right. Uh, and we also have an Atlas Engine app, which is if you have an Android or iOS app and you have an armband laying around, you can download the app for free. And the Atlas Engine app, when put into your armband, gives you a, a sneak peek of the Atlas Engine technology. So it comes with like burpees, push-ups, squats, lunges, that sort of thing. And how much does it cost? Uh, the Atlas wristband is 249 MSRP, and the At Atlas Engine app is free. So last question, what are your fitness goals for 2016? Uh, my fitness goals for 2016 include uh, a half marathon, uh, as well as doing a Fran in uh, under under eight minutes, which is a CrossFit thing. Okay. Awesome! Thanks so much for joining us, Peter. Thank you. Thank you.